I mean, that was just we had a few more lefties, so spacing our lefties out. We're lineup wise, we, you know, we, we switch it a lot based on who we have in there with Hicks being in there and having a third lefty, just kind of getting some spacing within our lineup is all. Um, I think I actually think Labor hit six the first game, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, and I thought Sevy was good. You know, I mean, obviously really had to labor there in that first inning, you know, 36 pitches, then had to work really hard in the second inning, and I actually thought he settled in, um, you know, as the night went on. I thought he got stronger. Um, and then, you know, decision to send him back out there for the fifth, I, I, I thought he was at a point where he was still strong and throwing the ball well. Um, you know, maybe the delay hurt him a little bit. Um, where he gives up the uh, or gets the gets Altuve to lead things off, and then the base hit and the walk. So, but I thought overall he competed really well. Obviously, got himself into some trouble there, a couple of solo homers, but but overall, I thought he I thought he was pretty good. In the center with that, Bill. Altuve continues to have problems on the mound. What's been the problem, and uh, you know, will you continue to use him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll continue to use him. You know, <clears throat> I thought he was in the midst of a pretty good at, um, opening at bat there with Springer and then loses him. And that's, you know, uh, you know, obviously difficult when you come in from the pen and, and you have a leadoff walk, especially there at the top of the lineup. You know, he's we've put him in some some tough spots, obviously, in the lineup. And then, uh, you know, they're running and, and for how well, Tuve's first pitch hit and, and, and the night's over there. So, um just got to be a little sharper with his command, a little sharper with his stuff, and, and uh, you know, we're going to need him moving forward. Far right, Joel. Aaron, I wonder what you're seeing from uh, Sanchez on both sides of the ball, specifically offensively, and would you consider going to Romine in this series as a starter? <clears throat> no. Um, um, I'm seeing Gary miss some pitches. Um, I, I, I felt like an, he got another good one to hit today and put it on the net again. Um, you know, he's got to take advantage of, you know, especially when you're, you know, facing a team like this with pitching like they have, when you do get a ball that you can handle, you, you've got to make sure it gets in play with authority and not, not on the net. Um, defensively, I think he's been great. You know, I, I, I think he's from a game plan, game calling, uh, receiving, um, you know, had the, the, the block get by, but that's, you know, any time a heater's in the fastball's in the dirt, that's that's kind of a tough one for a catcher. But defensively, I, I feel like he's been really good. First row, Andy? A couple times uh, you had relievers who looked like they were close to ready when Severino was in the game. Did he kind of earn his way past some of those matchups by you seeing that his stuff was improving? Did you get close to taking him out and then decide not to? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, at 36 pitches there in the first inning, he's he's a hitter away. Um, you know, obviously we're not going to let him go <clears throat> much more than that. And then there was another time that, you know, he was probably a hitter away. And um, but yeah, just kept making some pitches when he needed to. And and again, then then I felt like he got a little bit sharper. And you know, as he got into his outing, I thought he got a lot a lot better and stronger. Yeah. Over on the right, Mark. Aaron, you haven't gotten a lot of length from your starters the last couple of games with the prospect of the weather tomorrow and maybe needing to win three games in four days after that. Do you need more length from your starters? Can you get by with four innings from a starter despite how good your bullpen is given right. what the schedule could look like? I mean, no, we're going to need some some length. And, you know, Sevy did get us into the fifth today and, and Massa six the first game. So really it's it's you know one short outing that we had ahead of an off day and but confident that that you know our starters can give us that obviously one of these days we'll we'll kind of bullpen it and and have to go that way but um you know i'm confident that they can get us deeper into the game down here in the front john aaron as good as cole was did you think he was vulnerable at all with the five walks and did you think he raised his game when the big spots there with guys on base <clears throat> yeah i mean you know, it's it's obviously a little frustrating. We weren't able to break through with them, but I think, you know, up and down, we gave ourselves a chance. And and anytime you're facing a guy like that, you know, you want that kind of traffic. And and we had that in several innings. He made big pitches when he had to. Um, you know, I thought DJ had a really good swing on a ball. He hit to center um, with a couple guys out there, and then Dee Dee gets under it just a hair. Um, 
so anytime, you know, I think we ended up with probably about nine base runners against him. I mean, you kind of sign up for that. We didn't, we weren't able to break through. We weren't able to get that hit tonight. Um, you know, to, to really allow us to, to be in that game or even grab a lead at some point. So, you know, frustrating, but, but overall, I thought from a plan standpoint and, and giving yourselves a really good chance, I thought, I thought our guys were able to do that. Is there on the left in the middle? Aaron, uh, on that same note, we see, we saw guys tonight like Edwin and Didi trying to, uh, attack Cole early in the count. Was that part of the game plan? Trying not to get to two strikes? Well, um, I mean, certainly, you, you don't want to allow, you know, a lot of pitchers, but certainly great pitchers to just get ahead with ease. So I think guys were up there being aggressive. Um, that said, you know, I think we made him work pretty hard, too. I think he was up over 100 pitches or flirting with that, even in that sixth, that fifth inning where we got him up to about 90. So I thought our guys did a good job of kind of being aggressive, looking for a pitch early, but also, you know, getting in and working some counts in the back jay yeah on on the uh dd drive d uh, did you and uh, the guys in your dugout think that was out i wasn't sure i knew he got it good but i also knew he he got under it and hit it high so um i was kind of just hoping a little bit okay and do you put any stock in the idea that the ball uh that's being used in the playoffs is different from the one that uh you guys have used during the regular season i don't i, I don't know i don't think it, Hard for me to say at this point. I, I mean, I've heard a couple of things about that. Um, I don't know. Thanks. Ron in the front here. Be for the mic, Ron. Uh, if you do play tomorrow, who was your opener and where do you yeah. go from there? And do you have any sense if they'd make a decision tonight on tomorrow? I, I, I don't. I haven't seen anyone since I came in, so um, I'm not sure of that. We'll go talk through, you know, how we want to um, go with it tomorrow, it, you know, in, in the case that we do play. And uh, if they do call it early, would it be then Tanaka for? A good chance of that. That's something we'll talk through also, but a good chance of that, yes. Okay, take a few more. Barry? Uh, to the point of going deep into the counts, would you per prefer to see... Did he take a few more pitches and swing at so many first pitches? Or? No. I mean, no. I mean, you, I want our guys being a great – we do a great job as a whole, you know, obviously of, of working counts and, and making pitchers work. But I always think it's important to go out in there on the hunt, especially when you're up against a good pitcher. You can't just give great pitcher strike one um, – I always expect us to go up there looking to be aggressive and, you know, so if there's going to be some first pitch outs, that, that's part of it. Okay, Joel, far right. Aaron, considering how much time he missed, what did you think of Hicks's at-bats? And did you, did, if they were good enough for you, can you see him moving up from ninth to someplace more towards the middle or top of the lineup? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we'll balance, I'll balance it out kind of looking and how I want to go f forward from here, but um, I thought his at-bats were really good. I mean, two pretty big-time at-bats against Cole on his walks, you know, a lot of long at-bats, some good good swings on 3-2. You know, he, that was a classic case of him being, I thought he was really aggressive, but kind of that Hicks signature patience. Um, so, I mean, I, I think with what we've seen in, in – where he came in the other day and then his at bats today. Um, I think we're all very encouraged by that. Last one in the back. Uh, Aaron, uh, you mentioned uh, splitting up the lefties and the importance of that in the lineup, but I know, know that Houston doesn't really uh, utilize a lot of lefties in their, you know, uh, rotation leagues, not in the LCS. Um, is there uh, any pitcher in particular that, that you uh, worry about neutralizing left handed batters specifically? Well, I mean, they don't have lefties but they have guys that are better at getting lefties out so in a lot of ways it's the same difference so you're still trying to when we do have two or three lefties in there splitting them up because you don't want to give their guys that are really good righties righty on righty um long lanes same can be said for you know splitting up their guys that are you know more their lefty assassins so I mean, you, you got to not get caught up in what there are right 
right left-handed and what they get out. So the, it, when when we can, we'll space them out. Obviously, we don't have that luxury because we're very right-handed usually, but I'll space them out when I can. Aaron, thanks a lot. Okay.